So now we're going to talk about scatter plot. We're going to construct construct a scatter plot, and we're going to describe the form, the trend, the variation based on the scatter plot that we have constructed. So the construct uh, scatter plot is constructed. It is a diagram in order for us to understand or to illustrate the relationship between two variables. So this is only applicable for um, data by variate data wherein there would be two variables in the data so the correlation of the variables can be described in terms of the form so this is an example of a scatter plot where just like x and y so it could be described by its form by its strength or the direction and the variation or the strength of the scatter plot the first one is the form of the correlation can be determined by the shape of points in a scatter plot categorized as linear or curvilinear. So the form of correlation is linear if the points in the scatter plot follows a trend of a straight line. So it doesn't necessarily that the, the align that the points are aligned like this. So it could be separated or it could be away from each other, but it seems like the form is it's forming a straight line so the the dots are are in forming a, a direction so it flows or it goes through a certain direction so that would be linear but if it is cur curve linear or it's non-linear if the if if the points follow a trend of a curved line so just like this one it follows a curved line but usually um Scatter plot doesn't have this kind of, you know, perfect um, distance and perfect shape. So sample scatter plots show showing curvilinear forms of correlations are given below. So these are curvilinear because they are in curve. They, um, in seems like parabola. So the correlation of variables can also be described in terms of its trend. So it, now we're going to proceed with the trend. So for the form, it's either linear or curvilinear. For the trend, there are three. So the trend of correlation can be positive, negative, or zero, or negligible, depending on the direction of the points. The trend of correlations is summarized in the table that follows. So the first one, this is the trend. The first trend is what we call the positive correlation. So in short definition, positive correlation, if the points... um goes from it goes up so it goes up if it is going up therefore it's a positive correlation so a positive correlation means that if one when high values of one variable correspond to the high values of another variable or low values of one variable corresponds to low values of another variable ibig sabihin yan kapag ang isa pataas ang isa rin pataas example age at saka usually intelligence kasi habang um, tumataas yung age mo tumataas rin yung ang yung IQ level so that could be um, a positive correlation so unless kung habang tumatanda ka you are you know the your intelligence is decreasing so that's probably not positive correlation so that's negative correlation ang ibig sabihin ng negative correlation naman is going down so just like this one it's going down it follows a trend rising from rising from right to left so it rises from right to left however usually if this is going up therefore this one is going down and that's negative correlation ibig sabihin yan, the description for this negative correlation if one goes higher the other goes lower so example nyan is the the law of demand and supply kasi kapag marami ang demand ibig sabihin lumiliit ang supply but kapag lumiit ang supply lumalaki yung demand kasi marami ang naghahanap so that's the the negative correlation so there's also the no correlation or the negligible correlation that there's no correlation at all it seems like it's all over the place so the points are neither rising from left to right or no right to left so a negligible correlation exists when high value of one variable correspond to either high or low values of another variable so it seems like there's no relationship between the Two variables so again for the trend for the trend it's positive correlation negative correlation and no correlation correlation or negligible correlation so the third nature that we're going to talk about is that 
the variation or the strength. So we talked about the positive correlation, negative correlations, but there is what we call the strength or the variation. It's either strong or is it weak or there's no correlation at all. So it could be strong, moderate or weak. But for this one, we're not going to have moderate for the positive, but we're going to have moderate for the negative. So what we're going to do here is we're going to describe the determine the variation or the strength of the correlation between the variables involved. The closer the points to the trend line, the stronger the correlation of the variable is. So the strength of the correlation between two variables can be perfect, strong, weak, or no negligible correlation. To summarize the strength of correlations, refer to the table below. So this is the table where we're going to um, to to present to you what is correlation or the variation or the strength of the correlation. So it could be strong positive correlation. Again, the positive is going up. So for this one, it's going up. The point seems to be going up. And if this is the trend line, trend line usually is what is what could be the line that would descri describe the trend of the point. So for this one, it's going up. Tapos dito yung usually sa gitna ng mga points, yung gagawa ng trend line. So if this is the trend line, halos yung mga points is dikit dito sa line. So it, it is strong positive correlations. Or usually, kapag dikit-dikit yung mga points, it's strong positive correlation. This correlation exists when almost all of the points are on the line or the points are closely scattered on the trend line that rises from left to, to right. So ibig sabihin, usually, yung mga points... It's going up. It is going up, but it's dikit-dikit. Kapag um, hindi sila dikit-dikit, for this one, for the second example, hin, it, you know, you notice na pataas yung mga points. Yung direction ng yung movement ng mga points is pataas. So, it's positive. However, kalat-kalat yung mga points, so it could it is weak positive. So, weak positive compared to strong positive correlation, the points in the correlations are scattered a bit far from the trend line from left to right so it's going it is going up but the points are very um separated or scattered so for the next one is the no correlation or negligible correlation so just like for this previous example kapag walang you cannot see kung saan papunta yung line kung saan papunta yung mga points tapos they, they are very scattered so the points in the in this correlation does not follow a tr any trend line or the points are just scattered around the Cartesian plane. So that's for the no correlation or negligible correlation. So for the next one, we're going to talk about the negative. For the negative, we have the weak, the moderate, and the strong. So negative shot because it going it goes down. So for this one, just like in the past weak positive pababa siya however the points are very separated or scattered for this one it's moderate kapag um if this is halos dikit-dikit yung mga points pero it's not close very close kapag very close na that's strong negative correlation so that's strong negative correlation so strong neg negative correlation if the yung mga points pababa sila hat tapos hindi si in, if they are not forming a straight line they are almost forming a straight line. So almost forming a straight line, that's strong negative correlation. There is the moderate and there is the weak. So there is what we call also the perfect positive and the perfect negative. So the perfect positive and the perfect negative, if they form really a straight line. So usually yung mga linear, linear pairs natin, uh, your mga linear pairs, not linear pairs, so yung mga linear equation natin. So that's a perfect positive and perfect negative because they really form a straight line. So they are perfect positive or perfect negative. So this is just strong. Pero halimbawa kung yung mga points points is nagka-align na parang straight line. It's not just parang align siya na straight line. That's perfect positive. If it's going up, if it is going down, that's perfect negative. So for better understanding, we're going to explain, we're going to answer for this one. We're going to estimate the variation or strength of correlation to the following scatter plots. So for this one, we know um, the first one is the form. So linear ba sila lahat? So this is linear, 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 linear. This is not linear because it doesn't have form. This is not also curve linear because it doesn't have, it doesn't form a curve. This one could be linear because it's, it's like this linear siya. For this one naman, it could be also be linear. 
so but it's very weak in terms of the the trend so for the trend we're going to have to explain the trend so for the trend this is positive negative or negligible no so this one is no very good no negative because it's going down it's negative because it's going down so for this one it's no no correlation at all so is it going up or is it going down so it doesn't have it's not either going up it's not going down so it's no no so for this one it's going up so positive 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 negative kasi pababa siya negative siya so to review this is no correlation so this is no correlation no correlation no correlation this is negative negative correlation so this is this is also negative correlation this is no correlation so no no this is positive correlation this is also positive correlation positive correlation and negative correlation because it's going down so next is we're going to describe the variation or the strengths of the correlation it's either perfect perfect positive perfect negative strong positive strong negative weak positive weak negative or no correlation at all or for, there's moderate negative for the negative so there's moderate for the negative so for this one because there's no correlation also to, that's the the strength or the vari variation is negligible correlation or simply no correlation so no correlation so this one for number two it's sorry it's going up pala. why did i write no correlation it's positive correlation but it's weak positive siya kasi nga did we write the straight line already so it's going up positive siya so but it's very separated scattered so therefore it's weak positive correlation for this one it's itong line halos dikit dikit yung mga points so therefore this is strong negative correlation for this one it's negative correlation at saka lahat ng points nasa line so that's perfect very good for this one no correlation so did it be no correlation for this one halos yung positive correlation siya tapos halos lahat ng ng points ay nakadikit or malapit sa line so that's what we call strong so this kind of um correlation is strong for this one lahat ng points nasa line so that's perfect very very good for this one positive correlation siya halos lahat ng points dikit sa line so that's that is still strong positive correlation this one it's a negative correlation because it's going down lahat ng points halos na sa dikit ng line so therefore that's sorry strong negative correlation here for number eight just for the explanation because we have uh, in the positive correlation we only have strong and weak but this is better with moderate correlation but if there is moderate correlation, it's better that you're going to have moderate correlation. But it's weak or strong, so we ch rather choose a strong because if it is compared to the weak, it's very separated. This is not very scattered. So we have strong positive correlation, but if your teacher allowed, it could be moderate positive correlation. So now we're going to form or construct a, a scatter plot. So we're going to construct a scatter plot and then we're going to describe its strand, its correlation, its strands, or the the trend. So the first one, it's the situation is Sakura interviewed nine of her classmates on the, their average daily allowance in peso and their weight in kilogram. So the results are given below. Construct a scatter plot of the given data. So one student has 35 pesos as daily allowance and his or her weight is 40. So 35, so this is by 2, there are 2 lines if you notice. So by, uh, there are only 5, 4 lines in between 30 and 40. So it should be by 2. So 35 here, 40, 35, 40. So here, 
I hope I'm right. 55, 38. So 55, 38 in here. So 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40. Next is 60. Kapag 60, 45, 60, it's 45. Kapag 65, 43. So that's 42, 43 in between here. So it if it is 45, 45 in here, 60, 45, 60. So here, 55, 4 to 1, 55. There's another 55, it's 4 to 1. So if it is 70, 63, 70, 63 in here. After, sorry, sorry for that. If it is 70, it's also 57. If it is 77, 77, it's 60. So 77, 60. So based on these points, is there um, the form? What is it? its form? So it's more of, if it is, is it linear or curvilinear? So it's more of linear. So it's more of, it goes down like that. It goes up like that. So this point, this point, this point, this point. Halos pa at pakyat siya. It's, it's positive correlation. It goes up. So the, the trend is positive. And the strength or the variation is. If this is the line, it's very separated. So it's very weak positive correlation. So it's weak strength the strength is weak positive correlation so all you have to do if you're going to construct a scatter plot is you're going just going to construct it just like um ordered pair so 35 40 55 55 so it's 55 38 so just like that so for the second example a gym instructor believes that the height should be maintained by anyone regardless of age that's that's why he recorded the ages of his sex customers and the number of minutes they spend in exercising the data are as follows for the age 16 the number of minutes is 50 for 18 65 for 20 it's 70 for 24 35 26 the age is 26 so 45 minutes 30 is 60 45 70 so we're going to graph now or to do the diagram the scatter plot so kapag 16 ang age this is for age kapag 16 it's 50 usually itong nasa taas yan siya sa baba tapos ito number of minutes are usually in the the vertical so kapag 16 it's 50 so by 2 pa rin 16 it's 50 16 50 kapag 18 it's 65 18 this is 18 65 is in the middle if it is 20, it's 70, 20, 70. So it almost, you can see the line there. So if it is 24, 24, it's 35. So 24, 35, but it goes down in here. So that's a very big line. 26, it's 45. If it's 26, 45. 26, 45. 30, it's 60. 30, it's 60. Where is 60? In here. Kapag 45, 70. Again, kapag 45, nandito siya malayo, 70. So, what do you think is the form? The, f is it the form, is it linear? So, if it is linear, it's, we're going to choose between linear and curve linear. So, it's more of linear. So, it's more of linear. So, we're going to have linear. For the trend, so the trend is... Is it positive, negative, or no correlation? So, it's very good. It's no correlation. No correlation. So, therefore, the stress is also no correlation or negligible correlation because it's very scattered. So, you cannot form, you cannot conclude na pataas siya. You cannot conclude also na pababa siya kasi nandito itong isang point dito masyadong siyang malayo kapag pababa. So that's it for illustrating and um, for describing the forms, trend, and variation based on the scatter plot or illustrating or constructing a scatter plot. Thank you.